It's so comforting and it's so rich in flavor. That was the best duck I've ever, I was like, whoa. Ice cream, ice cream, and more. We all scream for ice cream. <laughs> Everybody try that right now. <laughs> oh, <ooh. laughs> Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with nine Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. Redwood Credit Union offers personal and business banking, mobile access, and nationwide ATMs. It's banking for people who call this home and the future we're building together. Redwood Credit Union. It's the national recognition for healthcare equality. It's a thousand things, big and small. Sutter Health. Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check Please Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests, and each one recommends one of their favorite spots, and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, social media app community manager Mike Wilson gives us the delicious scoop on his spot in San Francisco. And bus driver Artina Lewis transports us to Oakland to tour her beloved Eritrean Ethiopian eatery. But first, public defender Madeline Rodriguez lays down the law when it comes to her favorite, an Izakaya Japanese restaurant. Located in uptown Oakland, this is Shin Mai. We came from China, and then we're immigrants. We love Oakland like our second home. That's why we picked this location to start our America dreams. Uh, we studied how to make ramen about seven, eight years ago. We went to New York, to all over Los Angeles, Tokyo, to Kyushu, to Hokkaido, Japan. So we tried to make our own like, style ramen. So. I get an idea from there and I put my own idea. So I try to you know, create a, like a, the best ramen in America, or at least Bay Area. So we use organic pork bone, pork leg, pork back, and we cook almost 12 hours to 14 hours, make sure all the flavors come out. A lot of people were thinking ramen is cheap food. And then I want to mention that there's no cheap food. It all have to come from the best ingredients. So I think what we do is we're using everything the best to presenting our ramen with a very comfortable price. This is actually me and Andy's dream restaurant. And then I think this is our dream come true. Now Madeline, how did you discover this restaurant? So I discovered Shin Mai because the owners of Shin Mai had another restaurant that's in my neighborhood and it, a sushi restaurant mm -hmm. that I love and I had been there many times and one of the owners invited a group of us to try his ramen and we had tried it, we loved it and he's like, oh, I'm thinking of opening another restaurant. Right. He had even sat down and explained to mm -hmm. us how they make this bone broth and they right. cook it for over 24 hours, mm -hmm. just stirring constantly in this huge pot mm -hmm. so it doesn't burn, but giving it this very rich, creamy flavor, which that's why it's my favorite ramen. Right? <laughs> and so obviously you get ramen when you go. I do. Yeah. So the tonkatsu ramen. Mm -hmm. I know they have other options, but I mm -hmm. always get the tonkatsu. Mm -hmm. And it has the fresh noodles that they drop in kind of at the last moment so they don't get mm -hmm. mushy. Of course, it has the uh, soft boiled egg. And there can be a couple other pieces to it, but they always have right. slices of pork. Mm -hmm. And it is just, it's so comforting and it's so rich in flavor. That's why I keep going back to Shinmai. You can see you're, you're, you're like, oh, I want some <laughs> I right now. It's just so hearty, thick, like it, you can really tell the care that they put into creating the broth. And a friend of ours when we went actually got the other 
ramen, which was much more of a lighter broth, and it was still phenomenal. Like, it was still really good. Did you get a style. reach over and just? I did, <laughs> yes. Okay. No, yeah, I was like, I'm going in. You don't have a choice. It was awesome. You weren't awesome. picking it up and slurping it? Or? No, I was res a little bit of restraint, okay. a little bit of restraint. Okay. Yeah, Artina, did you start with that as well? I, you know what? I had the veggie ramen. Right. Yeah. And so the veggie ramen, it was like a great tomato, and it had actually spinach noodles, and it had some really, really good bamboo shoots. Oh, my God, those are my favorite. Yes. And so as I'm trying this, it's good. I actually had to run to the restroom to go take my daughter, come back, and I'm like, where is my soup? <laughs> um, so I wanted to finish drinking it and doing the whole thing, but I didn't get to. But I had the boiled egg. It was so good. I also want to mention the rice, the fried rice. Mm. I also had the fried rice on yes. my last trip. Yes. It was incredible. Oh, but let me tell you. Hold on. Let me tell you something. <laughs> so my grandmother had the fried rice that they have with the scallions and then the shredded crab. But my aunt was not wanting the crab. She said, well, you know, maybe I'll have the shredded duck. Oh, my God. Girlfriend. <laughs> That shredded duck, I've, I'm not a big fan of duck, and that was the best duck I've ever, I was like, Agreed. whoa. Mm -hmm. It was spicy flavoring. I feel like there had a little bit of some seasoning that that chef put in there. Mm -hmm. I tell you, the way that it was nicely textured, and then along with the fried rice. Oh. And you know what's good when you actually like relax your eyebrows and you're like, oh my God, you know? <laughs> yep. Everybody yep. try that right now. <laughs> relax your eyebrows. Like, oh, mm. Mm. <laughs> So close your eyes, it's delicious. The other thing that I love at this restaurant that is I think they do it better than everyone else is the chicken karage. I don't know if anybody else had an opportunity <laughs> to try that. Fried yes. chicken. Mm -hmm. Can't not have fried chicken when it's I on the menu. I wasn't the best fan. I'm, I'm I kind wasn't. of in. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so we'll start here yes. and then we'll go here. I love that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Every time I've had it, it has been perfectly cooked. The chicken is moist, but it's crispy. Mm -hmm. Of course, it comes with the lemon wedge and you drizzle, mm -hmm. and the dipping sauces are delicious. Right. We talk about it sometimes as like, we're not even in the mood for ramen, but we're like, oh yeah, let's go get some chicken crack. <laughs> so we really like it in our family. Right, and okay. and what did you have a problem with? I'll let you I will say more so, it was that it was like too crispy. Like it was, I love crispy, but I was like a couple of the time, it was tough. It was like, oh. the flavor was good, but the chicken was mm. not as tender as I liked it. And what was your experience with it? Uh, my, the fry was perfect. Uh, it was still tender and juicy, so the chicken itself was really right. good. Um, the sauces were excellent. I just yes. feel the breading wasn't seasoned as much on my chicken. Um, oh, okay. So that would be the only thing. But with the sauces, it went well. Right, mm. right. So mm -hmm. we had the baby lettuce. It actually came with some really good dressing, and it wasn't suffocating with dressing. Oh. And they had this really type of way that they make their pistachios on the lettuce, rather like dusty but in a good way. I don't know like how they did it, but it actually complemented the dressing and the salad. Mm. Did you get anything to drink? Because they have sake, they have wine. And yeah, beer. so I did one of the mixed drinks. I'm a huge fan of old fashioned, so I decided to get their version. And it was beautiful. I mean, it came in a beautiful glass, uh, was definitely well made. Yeah. It was delicious. Right. Yeah. Did I'm you a, have anything to drink, fan. Artina? Oh my gosh. So I had uh, Shirley Temple. Mm. Now Shirley Temple's usually, it's really sweet, right? It was not, it had a lime to it. It was mm -hmm. delicious. My daughter had a blueberry juice. I tried all the drinks. I didn't care. I tried <laughs> and blueberry juice is really good, and she drank all of it. What do you use? So I typically get a drink called the Where's Valdez, I believe, and I it's a mezcal that. drink, mm -hmm. and it's my favorite mezcal cocktail in Oakland. Yeah. Several of us had it at the table, but one of my friends was not drinking. Um, he was driving us, and they made him what would be like a ginger soda, if you mm -hmm. will, but they made it from scratch. Mm -hmm. And he normally has one a night, but he had two. He thought it was so good. He was like impressed. He was like, oh, it really is a faux cocktail. I don't feel like right. I'm just drinking soda at the table while everyone else is getting to indulge. Right. Awesome. Now, what about dessert? I have to say, so they had two options on the menu. I got one of each and shared with the table. Luckily, my wife convinced me to get two truffles. We had four people, mm -hmm. so we split a truffle versus having to quarter a truffle. Highly worth it. Um, the cheesecake options were really good. You do get two slices, so that was a nice way to kind of try a couple of different things. Um, they were a little bit more reserved, as some Japanese desserts can be, um, which is Meaning cool. Meaning less sweet? Correct. And less sweet. Correct. Yeah. Uh, one of them was a matcha flavored, and it was a little bit less uh, matcha flavored than I'm typically used to, and more of a cheesecake flavor. But the truffles, I think if you do end up going to Shinmai, you have to get per person one truffle at least. You do not want to share these and then get a couple to take home. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, this is your spot. Give us a quick summary, Madeline. I'm dating Chin Mai. It's my new <laughs> favorite dress that I wear out um, whenever I'm trying to have a good time with friends and family. All right, Artina. Um, if you want great customer service and you also want great food, go to Shen Mai, it's really good. And Mike? I would say if you're looking for a delicious bowl of ramen and I have to say they're chocolate truffles for dessert, <sighs> bar none. 
delicious. All right, if you would like to try Shin Mai, it's located on San Pablo Avenue in Oakland. The telephone number is 510-271-1888. It's open for lunch on weekdays, every night for dinner. Reservations are recommended, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $35. Martina has been enjoying her pick in Oakland for many years, sharing it with family and friends. It's the spot where she feels at home. This is Asmara Restaurant. Asmara is a beautiful city located in East Africa. Asmara means harvest in uh, Tigrinya, the national language of Eritrea. My name is Cassette Johannes and my wife's name is Okwa Johannes. We own Asmara Restaurant. We're the best cook. It's been almost uh, 34 years. We opened in October 1985, and we were probably the second or third at that time to have uh, an Ethiopian food. So we brought this culture to the area. Our food is made of spicy food, and we have non-spicy food, and we have vegetarian dish that is very, very popular. The Bay Area, they really turn into more healthy food. So we drive a lot of customers here for the healthy food. And the other thing is just people they eat with their hands. You can see the tables, there is no fork, there is no chopstick. A lot of kids they come here because at home they cannot eat with their hand, but here they can eat with hands. So <laughs> a lot of kids they like not only the food, they like the way they eat with their hands. My wife is here every day. And my boys are here now the last two, three years. They work with us. So we are here every day together. We want to appreciate all our customers that they support us. They gave us the chance and they didn't let us down. And so far, we are very successful, we are very happy, and we are very, very thankful. All right, Artina, do you like to dig in and eat with your hands? All day. <laughs> All day. That's why Is, there's no nails on these fingers. That's right. <laughs> and you've been bringing people there for a long time. So me and my friends have known each other for over 10 years, and we go there a lot. Um, mm -hmm. So when you walk in, it's as if you're in an actual Ethiopian house, right? Setting. So it's ambiance for you as much as food. As much as food, yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. So I particularly think that when you're going in there, you definitely want to know you're either going to like spicy or you're not and make sure they know that <laughs> and you also want to go there when you're wanting something different well what did you have madeline yeah. when you went we didn't have as much familiarity with the ethiopian food mm -hmm. so you can have lamb you can have beef you can have chicken and various sauces mm -hmm. or you can get a combo of all three mm -hmm. and so we did that we were like let's right. just try it okay. and i loved the lamb it was cooked perfectly okay. it was mm -hmm. very tender mm -hmm. it wasn't dry at all okay. Same thing um, with the vegetarian options. Yes. So we did a combo mm -hmm. for the lentils and the collard greens as well. And yeah. all of us loved the red lentils. Mm -hmm. um, had a kick to it, had a spice to it. And we really liked that. We're, we're a spicy food family. Okay. Yeah. It was incredible. Yeah. The right. food is, I understand why it's like a go-to spot for you with family and friends. It's certainly like comfort food. It's in my neighborhood. So I loved that. And I was mm -hmm. like, oh, this is definitely going on the list of go-to right. restaurants. And we served family style, the right. big platter. You don't have to order at that. Way, but we chose to eat that way and just sort of spun it around right, so we could yeah. all eat. Mm -hmm. And there wasn't a dish we didn't like, right. but I think our favorites were the red lentils and maybe the lemon. And had you eaten in Jira before or yes. any of Okay. So because we had eaten, we understood that part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they were sweet. They sort of brought us forks. They weren't sure were we going to get down. Right, but right. Sure enough, we're all just digging it. <laughs> right, yeah, just get it. in there. Mm -hmm. I right. will say, I want to emphasize on the injera. If you want to eat with your hands, have the injera. So you're gonna take it and just piece it together, right. put that meat and that egg, and then take it in there. The injera is delicious. It's an ancient, old type flat bread. of like flat a raised bread. Flat, right, but it's yes. very tangy. Yes. And have you eaten Ethiopian or yes. Eritrean food before? Yes, yes. Uh, we have one close to where I live in Oakland mm -hmm. as well. So we frequent that one, but I'm mm -hmm. so glad you introduced us to this one as well, because I think I think it's gonna <laughs> replace that option, because it's ridiculous. You're gonna right. hear more of the same. I also got the meat and the veggie sampler. Um, it was just my wife and I, so we wanted to like keep it a little bit smaller, but it's still tons of food. Mm -hmm. So spoke with the server a little bit and said, we're going to get these. Do you recommend anything else or that's really popular? Yes. Um, and she recommended the spicy lamb because I love 
fire. I love oh the, bring the heat. So I was like, <laughs> bring that out too. So we got that as well. Everything was delicious. I have to say, honestly, I think I like the samplers even more than the lamb recommendation. Mm -hmm. um, I wish it was a little bit spicier, but as really? far as like, yeah, I love, yeah. I love heat. It but, was yeah. spiced well. It just wasn't as hot as I wanted, if that makes sense. Yeah, so yeah. it was, it tasted awesome. Mm -hmm. Did I would say, oh, of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Professional. Um, the veggie option actually comes with four or five, I believe now. Mm -hmm. They added beans as well. So mm -hmm. plenty of options there. The lentils, I think, being our favorite as well. I'm a huge fan of lentils and they were seasoned yeah. perfectly. Um, the meat wise, so everything was so tender, perfectly cooked. Everything was perfectly seasoned. I mean, like to a T. So you really can't go wrong. And for the price, both of those samplers, like yeah. astronomical good deal. Right. I walked away just feeling like, wow, I can't believe we got all of that food. And that's what you usually get as well? I do. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so I usually go for the combinations because mm -hmm. it's like you get more yeah. and it's you could try different things and then take it home. So yeah. the greens were really good. The greens actually have their own seasoning too, the garlic and the um, different asmara spices. Mm -hmm. So you have the lentils, the greens, and the other yellow lentils with the red. So that right. was really, it's great. And there's even like a little salad, salad yeah. Yeah. on top. Yeah. Yeah. And it was the a nice was little good. like, oh, Chris. Juxtaposition. Yeah, to the yeah. contrast. Compliments it, totally. yeah. And mm -hmm. speaking of complimenting, what did you have to drink? So back on the mezcal train, I got, <laughs> I'm an old fashioned fan, but I got, they have an, a mezcal old fashioned and it was awesome, super delicious. But I have to say, you have to get their mead, their honey wine. Their honey wine. Oh. And that's a, that's a very famous, oh. uh, you know, piece of Ethiopian culture yes. Yes. is to, to have mead or beverage. honey wine or, or tej. Right. You skip the glass. Go you didn't have. Did you have any? I did have a cocktail. <laughs> right. But had I known if she go had back. said or go back and try, it's not too sweet. It's, it's not, not too alcoholic. Too alcoholic. Right. Like, it's right in the middle. They, mm -hmm. they I mean, it. I'll definitely go back to that restaurant. Yeah. That is. <laughs> my say, the good news is you'll be back. Yeah. yeah. All right, Artina, your spot. Give us a quick wrap up. If you want great cultural atmosphere and you want to try some good food, eat with your hands. Grab that Tej honey wine. Go to Asmara's. All right, Mike. I would say it's an Oakland institution for a reason. And second, the honey wine, you gotta do it. I would say if you're looking for some comfort food on a cold, rainy Oakland night, grab friends and family, it's a perfect place. If you would like to try a Smara restaurant, it's located on Telegraph at 52nd Street in Oakland. The telephone number is 510-547-5100. It's open for lunch and dinner Tuesday through Sunday, and the average meal per person without drinks is around $25. Post your favorite food shots on Instagram with the hashtag Bay Area Bites and have a chance to see your food pics on the show. Mike's Place is a full service 1930s style soda fountain and classic lunch counter. It's a place he likes to visit on a cold San Francisco day for homemade soup and brioche. As its name suggests, he will always leave a little room for dessert. Step up to the counter and tuck in at the ice cream bar. The ice cream bar is a 1930s style soda fountain where we make everything from scratch. Uh, we have lunch counter items and come in for lunch, dinner. It feels like an old fashioned kind of place, maybe somewhere that your parents or your grandparents might have been. My name is Juliet Priest. I'm the owner of the ice cream bar. Uh, well, my inspiration for the ice cream bar was to open a neighborhood place, some place that people go back to often. I'm very interested in vintage, uh, especially 1930s, 1940s. So I decided everything was going to be designed around the whole back bar, the cabinet, the marble counter, and then the soda fountain. Well, the menu um, came about. We wanted everything to be made in-house, make absolutely everything here, the bread that we use for our sandwiches, our sodas, we make our own root beer. We come up with our flavors by using what's seasonal, um, also what customers like, what the kitchen staff feels like making, what the staff requests. At least five of the flavors constantly change in addition to the traditional flavors. My favorite is the butterscotch ice cream in one of our cones. If I were to tell somebody, your first time here, that's, you know, you should have that. Mike, ice cream, ice cream, and more. We all scream for place. ice cream, <laughs> yes. I don't even know where to begin. Um, I've been coming here for a long time with friends, mm -hmm. weekly on occasion for a period of years, and it's just phenomenal. Everything from the ice cream, obviously, to the sodas, and then they do have a few meal options as well. Well, when you step up to the bar, yes. uh, what is the first thing you order? 
I have to always go with the classic root beer float. Uh, again, all the tinctures made in-house, the ice cream as well. So a couple of scoops of vanilla ice cream, they make the root beer right in front of you, right. pour it over the ice cream, and then they also make root beer marshmallows. Right. They even brulee the marshmallow before throwing it on top of the root beer float, right. so perfect. Did you have a root beer float? I didn't. No. I had a mm -hmm. Guinness bad. Guinness float. Yeah. Oh, you had a, the Dublin honey. The Dublin honey. Oh. The and Dublin honey with the float of the Guinness right yeah. on it top. Because delicious. there's some boozy milkshakes yes. there, right? Yeah. Right, and it was absolutely delicious. So yeah. the ice cream and the Guinness, it had this contrast, but then of course as it melted down and they blended, it was almost like a second drink because yes. it gave it this whole new flavor profile. It was great. Right, what did you have next? Um, we went for dinner, so we were actually mm -hmm. pretty hungry. Mm -hmm. um, I had the tuna melt and it was delicious. Mm. Ah. It wasn't greasy at all. It was on the big brioche um, slices of toast. It had a great dill flavor in there, like some fresh herb. Mm -hmm. I also had a side of soup, and I have to say their soup was delicious. It was a recommendation from the young lady working the counter, and she was like, our soups are really good. It was a lentil veggie. It was delicious. It was just this tiny cup of soup. I could have had a whole bowl of that and been totally satisfied. Right. What did you have? I actually had the grilled cheese. That was what mm -hmm. I was going for, yes. So I had the grilled cheese, and I have to say, I like my grilled cheese really grilled. I wish it was a little bit more grilled, like more. I got you. Yeah, yeah it more was, grilled. More yeah. melty. More like melty. Gooey. Yeah. The, cheese the chipotle gooey. sauce I tried with it, with the lettuce, it was good, but I was like, okay, I actually never really had lettuce with my grilled cheese. So I was like, okay, this is different. So I had that, but I went towards more so the ice cream. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yes. The big ice cream girl. Yeah. Right. So I tried the brownie sundae. Yes. It had um, pecans, it had toffee on top, it came with a little whipped cream, yes. some caramel in there, and then I actually, my two ice, ice cream ones was the, um, ooh, peanut brittle, yes. and the creme brie. I must love the creme brie. Yeah, I think you like creme brie. So I do, yeah. <laughs> so me and my daughter were just going at it, we were just eating it. We weren't even, mm -hmm. everybody else was sitting at the table, we were like, what? How you about know? the maraschino cherry? Did you forget about that? I don't like That's... maraschino oh, cherry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, you have like to eat so the maraschino cherry. <laughs> ice cream sacrifice. Yes. yes. At, at I'm more the brownie theirs. girl. The yeah. brownie yeah. underneath, that was yeah. what I was yes. going for. There was and they warmed it up for you too, right? They didn't. No. Because it was very busy, so my aunt actually got a melted ice cream at the table. It oh, was wow. kind of melty. Did you yeah. send it back? It was so busy. Did she you just ate drank it. it? She, I, ate she it, just drank. It? She ate. I was like, you should send it back, but she mm -hmm. didn't. But at right. the same time, though, they were very nice. And honestly, I loved my ice cream. I actually tried. My daughter got banana pudding. I got not that. pudding. Pudding. Yeah, pudding. Mm -hmm. it's delicious. Mm -hmm. It was really good. Mm -hmm. It's so did good. They, what else did they miss? What do you I, normally get in terms of a meal? <sighs> I do, so the grilled cheese is definitely my favorite, mm -hmm. and the chipotle dipping sauce is good, it but I'm good. a huge fan of grabbing whatever soup they have there because it changes mm -hmm. so frequently, and yes. dipping the grilled cheese in the soup is just like, ridic it's ridiculously perfect. Mm -hmm. um, again, on the brioche, like that's definitely the star of right. all of their entrees. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then they have like a rotating option too. So when we went this time, just trying to try as much as possible. Yeah. Um, they had a Cuban sandwich, which I will say was a little bit lackluster. The brioche was still phenomenal, obviously. We also had a change. We also had a Cuban Correct. sandwich. Mm -hmm. It got eaten. I'm from but Florida, it, so like I'm so picky. We had been to Cuba recently. Oh, there you so go. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> it's not bad. It's kind of a hard comparison. Yeah. Look, everything right. else was so great. And right. it, there wasn't anything wrong with it. It was mm -hmm. it was plenty good. Right. Um, but it wasn't as good as my tuna sandwich and it wasn't as good as mm -hmm. our you know, the Dublin honey float and right. Do you have a favorite ice cream? Oh, Again, they change all the time. They change but, all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of, they usually have a coffee ice cream rotating in and mm -hmm. out, is really good. And then same thing with like one of the toffee-esque ice creams, they kind yeah. of change that. Right. Both of those are always Deli I mean, vanilla also, obviously, right. but like those two. My aunt had, she was more upset that they didn't have strawberry. She's like, oh, all of them have strawberry. And they're like, it's only in season. Yeah. There was a cherry <laughs> yes. uh, when I was there yeah. and it was delicious. I did taste several. Yes, <laughs> even though I as you should. Right. Right. Um, it is homemade ice cream. It is incredible ice cream. Do you yeah. get any of the of the boozy drinks at all, the boozy ice cream? I've had a few, and I've also had brought in guests that wanted something that maybe like wasn't on the menu, and just like any good bartender would at a mm -hmm. bar, uh, they've done a really great job of customizing drinks for you, or like what type of flavors do you typically like? They do call them mixologists. 100%, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Did you feel like it was affordable? Uh, San Francisco affordable is what yeah. I would call right. it. Yeah. Right. Um, I will say this, the portions were large 
So it's absolutely affordable. You can go in and share a sandwich. That would be plenty of food to have half right. a sandwich and that would save room for a scoop. What about, they do have vegan ice cream. They do, and nice. that's another one of the stories that I kind of like learned to make the vegan ice cream and have the richness that they were looking for. It actually cost them more in ingredients than they are charging for it. Mm -hmm. All right, this is your spot. Mike, wrap it up for us. I would say if you're looking for a, a tasty treat in the Bay Area, uh, they have some savory options too if you want a little snack, but definitely save room for two scoops. All right, and Artina? I say go on a not so busy day and definitely taste test everything. <laughs> <laughs> and Madeline? I would say um, it's worth the trek um, because it's such an iconic bar with the mixologist back there doing his magic, right? Yeah. Well, if you would like to try the ice cream bar, it's located on Cole Street at Carl in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-742-4932. It's open for lunch and dinner Wednesday through Monday, closed on Tuesdays. And the average tab per person without drinks is around $15. I want to thank my guests on this week's show, Madeline Rodriguez, who brought us to Oakland to enjoy the refined casual fare of an authentic Japanese restaurant at Shin Mai. Artina Lewis, who introduced her family favorite for East African cuisine, Asmara Restaurant, also in Oakland. And Mike Wilson, who scooped up the savory and sweet delights of the ice cream bar in San Francisco. Now, we really want to hear about your experiences at any of the restaurants we've been talking about. So keep in touch with us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Or better yet, post your favorite food shots on Instagram with the hashtag Bay Area Bites and have a chance to see your food pics on the show. And don't forget that you can watch any of the shows on our website at kqed.org slash check, please. It's where you'll find links to the restaurants and where you'll find my notes on the wines and libations we're drinking today. So join us next time when three more guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers, you guys. Cheers. Did you have fun? Yes. Did you enjoy? Yes. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... Oakland International Airport, now with flights all over the world, iFlyOAK.com. It's the national recognition for healthcare equality. It's a thousand things, big and small. Sutter Health. Redwood Credit Union offers personal and business banking, mobile access, and nationwide ATMs. It's banking for people who call this home and the future we're building together. Redwood Credit Union. Cooking is the first kind of love you know. It was starting when I was a child with my grandmother doing fresh pasta, and now I transmit it to all the guests. It's something made specially for them. Oceana Cruises, proud sponsor of Check Please Bay Area. Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with nine Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com.